Welcome to the Super Facts Show on the Super Facts Network. Featuring St. Laz, who also hosts the popular web series Gem Pop and music journalist Mark Walter Ward. They have discussions about hip hop, culture, society, philosophy, and everything else. Now available on YouTube and wherever else you get your podcasts. What up, world? It's your boy, Mark Walter War, Super Facts Show, Super Facts Network. Today, we got the legend himself, Mike Geronimo, Master IC, in here for a Throwback Thursday episode. How you doing, brother? I'm good. I'm good. Good to hear you. Good to see you, Mark. What's up? What's up? How are you? Think good? Good, good. Chilling. So, yeah, you know, like yeah. I said, I'm, I'm going to make this one fast. You know, th- I, I collect vinyl. This is one of my favorite pieces. Yeah. And, and, and this, this just represents the time because you got production by one of bad boys hitman on the nothing move but the money yeah with uh dmx and black rob rest in peace yeah. and you got usual suspects with featuring dmx a young ja rule credited as ja rule the locks yeah. and Gaddafi. and before yeah. we even get into anything bro I, I i thought i thought wasn't fatal on that song yeah we had we actually had two versions and fatal rest in peace my bro fatal he was on the uh the original version so, like, the reason I say this is so monumental, like, depending on where you lived in the country, this might have been the first time you heard a Black Rob or the first time you heard a, a, the Locks. You know, I mean, you might have heard the Locks on that um, Funk Master Flex Volume 2 retail. Yeah. But uh, I don't know if they even had anything out on back. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not sure who. I, I know at least some of the, at least, I, 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 it was the first time I'd heard some of these rappers. And you were definitely, like, the first major artist to work with a lot of these people. And uh, I'm I'm just curious, like like how, how did it come to be that you have like this legendary Hall of Fame lineup on on on, on one remix single? Um, I mean it, it was two things. Like uh, shout out to Irv Gotti because he pretty much you know put together who he felt you know needed to be heard on the song, you know, and, and we had kicked a lot of names around. And the, the good part about it was pretty much everybody that we initially thought of, they was like, it wasn't just the sake of working with artists. It was, you know, getting to work with your friends that just so happen to be artists, you know. So for us, everything we did on it, it was it was personal and everybody that worked on it with us, it was a vibe and it was like family, you know, they were like kin. So it was just the usual, that's actually how the name I came about. It was just the usual suspects, the people that we always deal with. And so, you know, Irv had the beat and then we were just thinking of, you know, people that that I would want to have on it. And, you know, then we came up with the two lineups, you know, and Fatal was part of the original lineup. And from there, it was just everybody going to the studio, say what you got to say were shit everybody definitely got off um just a few thoughts do you think uh tragedy Gaddafi gets his deserved credit like i mean i was rocking with him with the intelligent hoodlum and everything mm-hmm. but you know mm-hmm. and i remember uh la la and all that but like i, I, I don't know i just don't feel like he get he get like much like yourself don't, don't get mentioned nowhere near in relation to the impact you had on the culture at the time you know i mean yeah shout out to Traz. that's my brother um he definitely you know, in 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 hip hop, and and it's when when you're talking about contributions, and when you're talking about what it came from, and what the components were that made it transform into what it's become. Yeah, I definitely feel that uh, more flowers are merited. You know, yeah, definitely, or definitely, you know. Um, but I think overall, you know, the beautiful part, especially now, like with having the gift of the internet and with having the ability to 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 go back so easily and and research and and just watching how you know over over time it seems like things now are understood a lot faster than they've ever been, and I see more people, you know, starting to give. Um, those that aren't normally mentioned as being uh, contributors and those that aren't normally mentioned as being impactful, I, I see these people starting to get, 
you know, the the credit and the due that they deserve. So I, I, I think that, you know, as time goes on a little more, not in the not so distant future, I do believe that, you know, a lot of people will be mentioned more so and will be accredited more so for their contributions to the art form as a whole. I think podcasts, you know, I wasn't even thinking along these lines, but you inspired a thought. I think podcasts have a lot to do with that, too, because for too long, like there wasn't enough hip hop media and, mm. and it was only it was only involved in selling the the, ne- the newest product. So, you right. know, like every current generation didn't learn the past generation unless they had someone to show it to them. Yeah. And, you know, now, now that we get into these conversations, you got regular people like me who became bloggers and then journalists or podcasters or whatever out of love, love for yeah. hip hop. And we're not being controlled by an editorial staff who's trying to, you know, favors Absolutely. for record companies. You know what I mean? Yeah. You 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 could be your own your own thing now. Your your own your your own vessel. You know what I mean? And and you have that ability to give people all the details that may either have been overlooked or, in certain cases, even omitted or forgotten. So. You know, there's people like you and there's, there's this, like I said, we're all connected by the net now. So we're all learning more about ourselves every day through it. You understand what I'm saying? So, uh, like I said, I think over time, you know, eventually it will get to the, the point where when the stories are told, all of these people will get the recognition they deserve. I hope so. All right. So to finish it up real quick, mm-hmm. you know, not, not to get controversial, but, um, I think Ja Rule definitely became a better songwriter as his career advanced. But when I hear the young Ja Rule, um, you know, all the way back to it, he was in that group that uh, you did, you were in the video with him and on stuff like this and Vinny Vidi Vici, I feel like he was a better rapper. Mm-hmm. I mean, maybe not even better rapper is the right right term because like right, writing those songs, it takes some hell of a rapping ability. But yeah. um, a, a, a harder spitter might be a better way to put it. I mean, he was all, Rule was always very talented and very gifted, and he was always very versatile, and he was always an out of the box thinker. And I think with Rule, the more that he got comfortable with, you know, with where he was going, the, the more mu- the musicality of it. Exactly. Yeah. Just just being just just having the ability of being able to create and to marry yourself to to a beat and to to take it places that, you know, people who don't have that amount of talent or that amount of skill wouldn't be able to navigate it to. So I just think for him, it was just a natural progression of having such an overwhelming amount of pure talent of raw talent that yeah in the beginning and i've heard rules spit things like that the you know that from from jump from the gate from when we was kids where you you just knew like he's very dedicated to what he's saying and he's very critical on what he's saying to you you understand what i'm saying so to me i just look at it like it was his natural progression to 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 be able to take the next thing, the next the the next door that you can open and and just become a, a magnificent songwriter, which is what he is. He's one of the world's greatest. I agree, and I think I had a young mind um, that you know I just wanted to hear a certain kind of thing because I noticed when I watched that verses, I appreciated a lot of those mm-hmm. songs. I dismissed a lot more, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and like I said, it's time, bro. Things grow over time. People understand things more so over time and also time gives you the ability to to look at things and to be able to give them that appreciation because they have i mean that man's catalog stood for years you know whether people still still standing and it's still exactly you know so like i said to me he was always a, a a force to be reckoned with you know so i'm not shocked at all i I always knew you know like he had that and he had more so and i think he's getting ready to spread his wings again to be truthful so you know shout out to my brother i love you and uh now i want to finish it off uh you can agree disagree or refuse to comment but i thought the best locks verse was styles um on on what on on that record yeah, on the uh, on usual suspect. Usual suspects. I mean, yo, you know what? To me, 
those are my bros and to me they 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 they're like they're the end or be all when it comes to the rhyme. So I never really I can't compare styles to Jada to Sheik because all three of them have their own unique way of delivering. But there's no one in this world that can deliver like they do. So to me, I yeah. I listen to them and I just get a kick out of knowing that they're on one of my songs, you know, doing the back and forth and just tossing bars to each other and just having fun with it. You dig? So I can't really call it. I'm just glad we have that moment. Real talk. All right, and then I, I only want no response, but you had the best verse on the song. Um, all right, so, <laughs> so, so that that's a throwback Mom. Thursday. The the <laughs> Mike Geronimo, not move, but the money remix, usual suspects, yeah. uh, 12 inch single available on all digital streaming platforms. Thank you yeah. for your time, brother. Thank you, I appreciate it, bro. No doubt.